Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simon, it's like diamonds. We are back. Got some really, really exciting news. It's Luke and I here today. I'm uh, in the house studio. We've got no AC in the office. We're in the position or a transition of, uh, of moving offices here before too long. Hopefully, you guys saw some of the exciting news that we have purchased our first property. It is on the water, very fitting for our brand. Now we'll be able to go out and actually test stuff. You'll be able to come to our tackle store. We have a physical brick and mortar tackle store there as well, about 1.7 acres, and it's all on the water. Uh, really, really neat pump for you to see. Even has a little boat ramp there. So there's all kinds of things that uh, we can do. But right now, our old office has no AC. So uh, I am here at, uh, at home in at least the nice uh, AC. And uh, we're here to talk about a brand new lure. But first, no, 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 put it down. Put it, oh, look, look to show <laughs> Let's it there. Go. But first, Let's talk about the backstory. As you know, here at Salt Strong, we have quite a few lures ourselves. We like to promote other lures. We test everything out ourselves. We uh, we love, 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 love doing the whole R&D. That's uh, research and development for the layperson. Uh, we love trying to test and tinker behind the scenes. And there's one idea we've been tinkering with forever. And it all started with a different sport. What sport was that, Luke? It was a sport that many of us uh, love and sometimes get very frustrated um, with, with me personally, but golf. Yes. Golf is the sport. In the golf ball in particular is one of the most recognizable, you know, instruments, if you will, in terms of, uh, of a sport, right? It's something unlike, you know, our NFL football is not played worldwide, uh, but golf and even a soccer ball, those two would be up there. It's something that pretty much most people in the world instantly recognize. Now, there was one thing in particular over the past few hundred years that literally changed golf forever when it comes to the golf ball. Can you guess what it is? Well, I mean, I can't Rhetor rhetorical question. Yeah, it has something to do with the skin of the ball. It we're was not talking crappy. about pimples. We're talking about dimples. Um, <laughs> There's so a lot again, of science involved. It's, sh it's shocking how much science is involved with that, too. Like, I, I didn't realize the impact of dimples to a golf ball. It was mind-blowing. So the history behind this, and there's quite a few videos online about it, but the history was the the original golfers there in, in Scotland – they would re they realized that the the longer they used a ball, the further it started going, right? And so they're like, "What? What is that? Doesn't make any sense. Why is that happening?" Because you know this is this is pre dimple. These are just a hundred percent round balls. It's because over time they'd hit trees, right? And obviously the club would even start slowly moving and and kind of changing the aerodynamics of the ball, and it basically started taking off some of that drag essentially is what it is it's taking away some of the aerodynamic drag and it started going further and so that was the catalyst to say hey let's put a bunch of little basically little scuffs right they're basically getting scuffed up let's put a bunch of scuffs and it's now evolved over literally hundreds of years into now a golf ball with tons and tons of tons of perfectly defined dimples and from all the studies that they do even with the uh, the uh, th that what they have what, what's the who's the head of golf I'm, I'm completely blanking right now head of golf I don't know what you're talking about like one U US P yeah. US G the golf U people U U UGA UGA yeah. uh, whatever it is th this is how much we know about golf but they have obviously facilities where they study this stuff and they say the dimples versus the exact same ball without dimples go almost twice as far so you, if you could drive this ball right? 300 yards, you could only do about half if you did not have dimples. And that is from the USPGA. Sounds right. Um, someone please correct us on that. Like, once again, that's uh, that's why Luke and I are so frustrated with golf because we're horrible at it. We can't even <laughs> pronounce things. But that's wild, right? So if, if you're wondering why they keep talking about golf here, well, here's the deal. We said, what if we salt strong could come up with a lure and started with our paddle tail lure that actually had dimples just like a golf ball one to be able to cast further right the further you can cast the further you can you know be away from the the, the fish the better your chances and also skip better as well it should make sense that having little dimples like this would enable you to do both and so we've been testing this we have spent many 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 tens of thousands of dollars now i believe 
getting these molds done and just testing and testing and testing. And we finally have not only a, a prototype, but we are now in the full production of doing these molds. Look at that. Luke's got, you can see the nipples on there. Uh, one, it, it does cast further. This is a four inch and we're going to have yeah. a three inch and wait till you hear the name here in just a second. Here's a three incher. Oh, that, that thing is going to be awesome. This one, it will cast a mile. It does skip amazingly well. But the the kind of the hidden benefit when we started using it, and we we've, we've teased it in a few on the water of reports where we say, hey, we're using a new lure and we're catching fish, and we didn't say what it was. It, it was this this lure here, but underwater, those little dimples in there. Luke, pull that up again. They look just like little scales. Like it it is. Um, this looks amazing underwater. So this thing has been absolutely crushing. It's got the two eyes on there as uh, as well. A really amazing paddle on the drop. This thing has just some amazing action. And so we started thinking about a name for it, right, Luke? And we had a couple random ones. And what is what is one of the best things in golf? Like, you know, besides maybe having a cold beer, but what is what is something that like, man, can I take a yeah, so you have a bad shot and you need a mulligan. Yeah, right? can I get, get a one mulligan? Extra, on one this. extra go at it. It's right? an extra, extra shot. Advantage. It's a free shot. And so as soon as, as soon as it hit, we're like, all right, that's it. Like, cause now you're giving an extra shot at the fish, right? You're over a given day, Luke, do the math. Remember we talked about that in the casting. I mean, if you can get an extra 10 feet per, even a few feet per cast and you're making a hundred plus cast in a given day, I mean, you start talking about football fields of extra dish. That's a lot of mulligans. We should have called it mulligans, plural. Uh, but so the name is called mulligan for obvious reasons. It has these dimples. We're going to have it in a lot of different colors, probably start with slam shady right is the thing yeah. that's being produced right now yeah that's what i've been using so far and it, it's been awesome so far every time i've taken it with somebody else i've caught more and they want to get some free prototypes and so it is it is definitely the furthest casting i should say the farthest casting four inch paddle tail that i've ever used and and just like all of our lures all of our salt plastics we design them so that the the point the, the point on the head is is thin enough it's small enough to rig properly on a weighted hook where, where it's nice and aerodynamic from the water but it's also fat enough to be rigged on a jig head as well that's a a lot of beef i have with a lot of soft plastics is that they have the big you know the big sharp uh edge the big flat face i should say and you really can only use a jig head on it which is great for deeper water but for shallower water it's no good at all and so that's where like this that's why i think this is the ultimate paddle tail because it cast further. You can rig it on a weighted hook and it's amazing. You can rig it on a jig head and it works great as well. It's just, it's just a full package. Whereas again, a lot of the other ones um, it's, it's a, a deeper, deeper situation only type deal. So yeah, it's got the hook so slit in the awesome. bottom too. What's up? It's got the little slit in the bottom. Yeah. So has a slit on the bottom too, to, that, that helps, you know, that basically helps just your, uh, your hookup ratio uh, be better when you're, when you're using a weighted hook. Uh, like so and the, this hoss helix hook this is the three out hoss helix hook is the perfect size for this lure as well so we have this is like this combination right here is the ultimate i can go ahead and rig it up real quick but but yeah as i mentioned before like this has been this has been extremely good this is it's basically image if you're using our bombers yet our bombers are great because they can cast a mile it's a big five inch paddle tail so it doesn't really work all seasons uh, whereas this casts about about as far, it's very it's very close, but it has a, a it's an inch less, you know, it's an inch shorter, so that it has more longevity as far as seasons. It can pretty much be an all season lure. So yeah, there there would be how it looks on a weighted oh, hook. That looks dirty. Yeah, plenty of gap right there. I should actually poke it all the way through, but and then the uh, three the three inch is going to be huge because there, there's just not that many three inchers, um, and and especially when fish are feeding on smaller bait. Uh, this three inch is going to absolutely crush it. And it'll certainly outcast in the other three inch paddle tails uh, that are out there in the market, at least the ones we've used. Uh, I think you're going to absolutely love it. And what are we talking about? Calling the, the, the three inch and like a par three mulligan? <laughs> yeah, people, the I mean, feeling is funny. Yeah, I think it'll be a par three and par four and eventually have a par five for the for the big uh, the, the, the big one. But but yeah, I mean, so far it's been awesome. Um, it's been similar to the power prawn where I just saw immediate results as soon as I, what, it didn't, as I took it out. Wasn't the mulligan the one that you caught like a keeper snapper like the first time ever on your dock? That was, was power prawn. That was power. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah the, the power prawn was... Uh, was the, the, the literally i was like 
put it on the sea off the seawall, like putting it down with like four feet of line out and a, a snook hit this, the junior and then a, a snapper hit a, a, the other one too. It was crazy. I love it. But yeah, so this, my favorite for, for power fishing up in shallow water is this right here where the four inch mulligan slam shady color on the three yacht Haas Helix hook. This is extremely good for fishing shallow, especially for fishing heavy grass or oysters. You can dig that hook into the top. You can basically skin hook it. Now it's super weedless, but as soon as that fish strikes, it's going to pop it out. And you have a really good hook set given how wide the gap is. This is a wide gap, uh, wide gap three out hook here. And the hookup ratio is awesome while it's also weedless. So this again, like the perfect blend of, uh, of being weedless and also having a good hook set. Yep. And as we said, it skips well as well. As 100%. Well, as well. Um, yeah. So really, really pumped about this, uh, this mulligan. And we realized that we hadn't talked about it yet. We've been working on this thing forever. And uh, of course, the team knows about it. We've been going through different prototypes. So if if you don't know much about how saw plastics are, are made, especially when they started getting into like, you know, real production numbers, not just doing like, uh, what is it called? Single pours by yourself. Uh, it, it's a it's a long process. Starts off with 3D printers, and then they send us that. So we get the 3D printer version. And then that's, what is that, Luke? That's the first like single mold. Yeah, this is a single mold. And so here's, I have two of them. I was actually pouring some earlier today. So I have one is the three inch, one's the four inch. They actually have some stuff in there so we can kind of show behind the scenes how it uh, how it all, all works too. But, uh, but yeah, it's just basically just heat up the plastic saw, inject it into the mold. In this case, it's a single, right? You can see the, the uh, hole right there. You can see the material still in there and then give it a couple minutes to dry and then pop it out. But those machines they're doing like 30 to 50 at a time, depending on the size of the lure. And they have, you know, they actually can cool it down. Wait, they're not waiting a two minutes to, to peel it, pull it out. Yeah. It's amazing. Like these, these, uh, these high capacity machines is, is literally amazing how efficient they are in producing lures. Really, yeah. really so cool. we get, so we get, we get these individually and, and they, they come, they already put some in there for us every time that we, when we get around and we go fish and we test them, put them underwater, look them underwater, videotape them underwater. We do all this every time, every iteration and say, all right, let's make this little change. And then at the end, we'll say, all right, let's put salt strong on the top. I don't know if you could show that as well. Uh, pretty cool. And, and we'll probably have some rigging videos. The, the goal is to be able to have different size hooks come out of the top, it, right? It, I don't know if, if we've, mastered that yet in terms of where the salt strong is oh uh, yeah but it is right there on the on the top that way you know hey the it needs to go through the g the circle in the in the g of of strong uh if you're using this size hook to have a perfect hook uh, a perfect rig yeah so we'll have um so we'll have the the specs so the salt strong on the on this on the manual injection the the letters don't come out very well um, because it's just it doesn't have a machine like that machine compresses it gets into the perfect temperature and it puts the exact perfect amount of pressure to to fully um to fully adhere to every small detail of the mold so on mine you can't really see the salt strong but there's a salt strong on the top and yeah we'll give directions so hey bring it on three out hook get the the twist this has a twist lock on it get it all the way to the top. And then when you go through down here, it should go through the O or the N, one of the two. I can't, it's kind of hard to see online, but uh, but yeah. So it's again, doing the official machine is next level. So I've just been using my own hand board and it's, it's still working amazing. And so the, when it comes to the big machine, it's going to be even better. So in case you're curious to see how this stuff looks like, here's one I injected. I haven't pulled it out yet. Just so you can see what it looks like. You this poppy pops open. Oh. And there it is. So you can see all the material goes through. In this case, it's the small one. So there's just a big uh, part of the top that kind of um, I'll just remilt for a different one. Pop that puppy off. And now you have yourselves another three incher ready to rock. That's awesome. And then do the same thing over here, right? We got the five or the four incher. Pretty cool. Just cool to see how it how it all works. It's been fun learning how to do it. It's been uh, kind of a fun journey. Pop that thing off. Good to go. You have a makeshift, uh, supposed to hang them and, ke and keep them straight. So I use my tennis racket and kind of wedge the material in there. 
That's hilarious. Yeah. So part of a uh, part of it. So it's definitely it, it takes a while. It's kind of a pain to do, but it's been fun to experiment and test different colors and yeah. and. Uh, but most importantly, I've been doing it really just to test to make sure that that when we do these molds, this these are probably the fourth and fifth ones that we've done because we get it test it on the water for a long time, right? This isn't like, uh, okay, let's do a paddle tail and then take it to production immediately. So I've, I've been using these for a while, testing them in different environments, um, both on weighted hooks and jig heads, just to make sure that the tail's the right size, that the overall body is the, uh, properly um, properly formed so that even when the tail comes off, it still darks nice in the water. I forgot to mention that earlier. So this does work really well as a nub lure, just like our, our 2.0s. Uh, because it has again it has the right dimensions originally it was a little bit too fat and when it was too fat it kind of wobbled it didn't really have a good dart without the uh the paddle and now like this literally has been what i believe is just the the ultimate soft plastic paddle tail because it does everything um and again the fact that it's it's really bulky too so on top of the dimples it has a lot of bulk and so this puppy casts a mile the ultimate for power fishing yep it is awesome so then after we've finally approved it here, like Luke said, after going through quite a few, a handful of iterations of these singles, then we give the mold producer the AOK -okay on the final one to go forward and make the big one. So obviously we're not sitting there hand pouring these and putting them in packs of seven and, and mailing them out. You know, we're, we're ordering hundreds of thousands uh, sometimes at a time. Like you guys probably saw, we've been through over a, a million just of the Slam Shady 2.0s in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, and, and I know this one is going to explode as well. So now we're just waiting on this final one to come. It should be soon. And that's the question you're asking. When can I get these? They will be at fishstrong.com. We will open it up to insider members only in the very beginning. And, uh, and of course, you'll get your 20% off uh, all you insiders on, on all these mulligan lures. And, uh, and then we'll open up to the to the public, assuming we haven't sold out of that first round. We'll just continually have more. Then we'll we'll add more colors like we normally do. But we'll start with Slam Shady. Just we know it works. It, it's proven to work everywhere, and uh, and and it's man, it's it's it should be everyone's go to at least just to start with. And then there are certain scenarios, especially like our boy Matt up there in the Panhandle and why in Texas say, hey, I I love the Slam Shady, but occasionally I want to throw you know the Fred color, the pink color, or Leprechaun or Gold Digger. And so we'll have some of those iterations as uh, as well, but really, really pumped for you guys to to see this and to try it yourself to be able to cast it a mile. Skips really, really well, and uh, like I said, the 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 dimples they look. I mean, it looks just like a little fish. I mean, it looks like little scales down there. Uh, it is. Look at that. Oh, if you guys are listening, you have to just check this out, and we'll we'll put some underwater footage. Obviously, when we release this, we'll have all the stuff to back it up and the science behind it, but we'll at least want to get on a podcast and get you all excited about this uh, this new lure that uh, we got from the the idea of golf originally, and uh, like I said, the most exciting part was, to me, the scene of the scales. When we saw it in the water, I was like, holy smokes, this thing looks awesome. Yeah. And so now we're going to have a three, right, in the, in the mulligan, a three or and three. a half, which is a Slam Shitty 2.0, the four and this, and then all the way up, you know, to the five on the on the bombers. We've got you covered on all the paddle tail sizes. Yeah, I mean paddle tails. We've we've interviewed a lot of of guides and and even you know TV show hosts uh, involved with fishing. And a, a comp, a, just a fun question is always, hey, like, what's your favorite lure? And I, it's probably like ninety five percent have been paddle like uh, soft plastic paddle tail plus or minus Joe. I, I, yeah. I'm trying to think of anybody who didn't. I can't think of any. But I'm sure there was at least one or two. But paddle tails, they're just they just work and they just flat out work. And and just every small advantage, like we love testing things, but we're just looking for for small advantages. It's rare these days that there's a giant, huge advantage that hasn't been uh that hasn't been found. And so again, these these little um small updates I truly do believe has an advantage over the others. And and every little advantage we get we can get um just helps make sure that that we always have fun fishing stories to to share after every trip and pictures to show and and so yeah super excited it's uh it's this this kind of stuff we've been testing a bunch of different lures many of which don't make it to production because they just don't prove to actually beat what else is out there we're, we're very adamant about that and it's so like power prawns proved it and they've been amazing we've had a lot of personal best fish caught on those already and these i believe will have the same impact because they just flat out work and i truly do believe they have an advantage over the other paddle tails that are out there 
I, I think this one, just like Slam Shady and Power Brawn, I think I think Mulligan has the opportunity to have like long term legs, like you know that like our kids could be talking about it, J just like certain things that have been around for uh, forever, uh, you know, certain lures. I, I I really do believe all three of those that twenty years from now people could still still be using this and saying, yeah, this is just a proven uh, lure. Um, Pretty yeah, awesome. We're so we're really poly. So we've been working on this forever. Uh, and we, we it almost, it, it, the tough part for us, because we do this every day, right? And many of you, you know, tune in once a week or whatever it is, maybe once a month. And 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 it's a little bit different. We just assume everyone already knew about it. We're like, holy smokes, we haven't even told anyone about this mulligan that we've been working on forever. And, and part of it too, we just want to make sure it was perfect. Uh, and that we, we finally gave the seal of approval to say, all right, let's move forward with with the big boy, with the one that, how many cavities is it, 30 or 40 or something crazy? Yeah, this one, the four inch has a little over 40, I believe. And then the three inch has even more, right? So that means they can make 40 to 50 every like minute and a half. Yeah. It's fascinating. So instead of Luke, you know, is it, sitting at home in his little microwave, they have a massive uh, 50 gallon drum of like, let's just say Slam Shady. And they're just pumping that stuff into the perfect, absolute perfect amount. And they're doing 50 a minute and a half. And someone takes them off, puts them not on a tennis racket, but on a different type of <laughs> stringer to hold them and let them get perfect form. And then they just keep doing that over and over and over again, where you can make 10 to 20,000 a day if you have the the proper uh, machine. So um, we we will we will have these sooner than later. It does not take uh, that long once we have it going and in production. And it should be sooner than later. I'm guessing... Let's just say October first. What do you think? Is that safe? Octoberish. That should be safe. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, October, it'll be. We'll, we'll, just say, just say in, we'll just say in October. In October, it could be later. Um, it, it By the time like we have them in bags, because then you got to bag them and all that. But they will be made, and we'll have them in hand. So sometime in October, we'll be looking for the mulligan. Slam shady mulligan, and it is going to be, it is going to be the 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 need to have lure. So I've been. Uh, like I said, so far it's been a hundred percent on on having the person who uh well, I was fishing with want to be using it because yeah. it was catching the fish. Even if they're not a golfer like like us, don't even know what the US PGA 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 yeah, that's, that's it, that's the right. PGA. Right. I got my my green jacket on. Yay, master. Yeah, I did, go to, the, I did go to the masters once. That was that was a quite the experience. Sure uh, was. I was definitely a golfer that uh that those couple of days that was uh that was really neat um but I couldn't even remember PGA on the podcast so but hey that's live where goofballs we mess up sometimes and now it seems very obvious professional golf association I was thinking something like USTA like tennis just couldn't, couldn't you couldn't get it either what are you let's get all the golf people I'm, yeah. I'm not uh I'm, I like fish I don't golf much I, I golf like once a year and I'm terrible at it yeah ditto but now we don't need to. Now we can golf and have mulligans while we fish. There's <laughs> extra cast. So, guys, thank you so much. And if you haven't joined the Insider Club, what the heck are you waiting on? We're over 35,000 members strong. The Smart Fishing Spots has taken the club to a whole new level. Uh, obviously, the main focus is education, right? And, and I'm talking everything from rigging to finding spots, to knowing when to use certain lures, knowing when to use a certain jig head over a weighted hook, right? To know when to use types of lures or types of line, types of leader, types of knots, knowing when to fish certain types of areas based on the trends, not just because of a spot you caught a fish last time, but the smart fishing spots, the software piece of it, the technology takes it to a whole new level. And then, of course, discounts bringing on a lot of new stuff here at the end of the year. Once we have our tackle store, that opens up a lot of doors. That's all I'm going to say. Once we have a physical brick and mortar tackle store, a lot of manufacturers don't like selling to online only, which is what we've basically been is a, is a club. And now that we have a brick and mortar store, it opens up all kinds of stuff and still enables us to do online if you're not in Central Florida and can't come by the actual store. We're also going to be looking, as I talked about in a prior podcast, looking at having some distribution partners, some like existing tackle stores that are already out there and maybe even doing some franchises, which I know we've had quite a few people who have uh, written in about and have some interest uh, there. So all part of this uh, big plan to expand continue to unite friends and family through fishing. And uh, and that reminds me, the, the final piece of the Inside Club is that community. It's the family-like feel 
there's nothing else out there like it. It is so tight knit. People are actually sharing and being really helpful and there's no negativity. We don't allow cursing. Uh, you literally can't. Uh, there's no belittling, no, none of the smack talk. Uh, otherwise you just ask to leave. Uh, so we, we keep it super, super clean, super, super fun. And because of that, everyone is helpful. They feel like a family. And that's been a really, really cool part of this, uh, this club. So you can join us at saltstrong.com. We would love to see you in there today. It's less than a cup of coffee per day. It's not even close, actually. I mean, if someone told me like 20 years ago or even 10 years ago, hey, would you be willing to save a quarter a day to be able to have all the stuff that we have in the club? I'd be like, yeah, I'd save a dollar a day. And it's like, it's basically a quarter a day. It's 27 cents per day. If you think about it, like that's a joke, right? My kids can do that. Uh, yeah, it's like, to save it's a, like, save a quarter a day to have to to be that much better at something that you love and to be that much better it's something that that you've already spent money on let me i assume you've already bought some tackle maybe a kayak maybe a boat uh me i kind of want to maximize that stuff so yeah it's 97 dollars a year and so 97 divided by 52 weeks is a dollar 86 so that's like that's like that's still one, cheaper than a cup of coffee even on the weekly that's like drinking one less beer at dinner once a month Right, and you pay for it. Like you it's, drink it's, beer uh, dinner every night. No, like once a yeah. month. If you drink one less beer, well, one time in a month, you're paying for the entire club, <laughs> and you get all the discounts. Like, again, I, this I, it's it's it is it really is amazing how how help it's been help super helpful for me. Um, just seeing reports in the community from from members, I've caught so many more fish just seeing uh, the latest trend because this is daily. Like every day, there's new reports. I meet some great people. I fished with a member this morning. I've become really good friends with. Um, you, just, you just meet a lot of cool people that love fishing, and so it's been uh, it's been so much fun. So I highly recommend just trying it out. And we have the guarantee where you're guaranteed to to catch more fish and have more fun and and save money on tackle. If you don't, then you can get your money back. I mean, amen. So I will agree with you there. It's a great deal. Let's talk about the beer thing though, because I mean, there's it depends on the type of beer. Like Bush Light, I saw you know, per like a 12 ounce,r was cheaper than even a bottled water at Publix. So in your, that's where you might be wrong. Someone could say, Hey, it would be like me saving two bush lights per month, maybe two and a half. Um, obviously if you're drinking IPA or these fancy highlights or these high noons are like two, two fifty a pop. Yeah. Well, easy. I'm talking about if you go to a restaurant or right? I go to a restaurant and you get a drink, if you get an alcohol drink, it's probably gonna be at least five bucks. Right. Oh, I don't know even more mean. now. Yeah, they, like I said, oh, a single goes. beer now. A single beer at Publix now is two bucks. Like a, a good, a high yeah. quality beer. Not to say the Bush Light's not. I I would prefer Bush Latte. Bush Light's but, great. Yeah, crazy. So plus or minus. Either way, it's uh it's worth a while, worth a shot. So super pumped. Long story short, we're really really excited to have these lures out. Yeah, this has been a long a long journey to get to where we are, and we're right on the final final yard line and um gonna have these puppies out soon yep as kevin nealon says it is a snl chippendale skit it's been a long arduous process but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go with uh what was his name uh barney yeah we're gonna we're gonna go Frank with barney. barney or something uh <laughs> <laughs> we love to pick you both but we can't we're chippendales <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i got we pre- we appreciate you. Love you. Thank you so much for all the support. Stay tuned at fishstrong.com. Like I said, members only are going to get access to this first, the mulligan. They'll be the ones catching more fish, not just because they have the best lure, but they'll know exactly where to go fishing. And then all the rest of you guys, I don't know why you're not a member. Join today. Get on the bandwagon. You will start saving tons of money. You'll start catching more fish. You'll start having more fun. You'll start making some new friends as well in the community. And that's where Luke and I and the coaches are hanging out now as well. So join us there at saltstrong.com. You'll see a little button to join the club. Otherwise, guys, we will talk to you on the next episode. Peace. We out. <laughs>